What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video I'm doing another Shein haul. It's been kind of like a little bit longer since I've done a Shein haul lately but this one is really big you guys. I think I have like 24, 25 pieces in this one. Lots of shoes, a few accessories, bags, and then of course clothing items also you guys number one sorry if you guys can hear my air conditioning it's blowing in here and sometimes it makes the audio a little bit like not as great but it is so hot today so i have to have it on so sorry if you guys can hear that in the background um i might actually just end up doing a voiceover for the rest of this video trying on all the pieces and then just doing a voiceover to tell you guys about each item so let's go right ahead and get on into the haul all right, you guys, I figured I'd show off all of the shoes and accessories first. So I got these cute little sandals. When I saw these on Shein, they totally reminded me of Doc Martin dupes. I have been looking at Doc Martens on Amazon and they were like $150. And these ones are so similar in style. Obviously the quality is not gonna be quite the same as Doc Martens, but I wanted the style and these are like my new favorite sandal. I love them so much. They just have the three little straps and the little clasp is on the ankle. It just kind of like hooks over that last buckle I think they're adorable honestly I like them so much I might end up ordering like a second pair as a backup just in case I mess these ones up <laughs> do you guys ever do that let me know in the comments down below these next little sandals are kind of like a tweed kind of material just with that little crisscross strap in the front they honestly remind me of those shoes that people have that are like made out of rope and i just really like the style i feel like these will look really cute with a lot of like summer dresses or just all sorts of little summery outfits and i've worn them several times already and they're actually very very comfortable i am also really into these shoes as well Okay, I got these cute little snake print kind of like runner shoes, tennis shoes. I don't wear a lot of tennis shoes, but I've been really wanting some snake print shoes. So I tried to pick these up, but I ordered a size too small or they ran a little small so I could only get them on my one foot. I will be listing these on my Poshmark and Depop. They're brand new. They're in a size five and a half and I should have gotten a six, but I just thought they were really cute. The print is very stylish and they were pretty comfortable if they just fit me, so yeah. I was kind of bummed about those. Next up are these Doc Martin dupes. I have been trying to find a good Doc Martin dupe for quite a while now. I do have a pair of Doc Martens, but they're very stiff and sometimes I just want something a little bit different. So these ones look so similar. They have the same little like yellow tab there, but the stitching is white on these. And I think these are most similar to the Jaden. I was trying to show there that also it's very like stretchy, so it's not real leather, but I do think that they're comfortable because the material like moves more than my Doc Martens, which are so stiff. So these are a great dupe if you don't want to invest all the way into Doc Martens. These look like literally just like the Jadens, in my opinion. I also wanted to pick up these other like more sassy pair of combat boots. They are like the shiny patent leather look with this silver chain on the front and a bunch of buckles. I just thought they were really fun and like just take combat boots to another level. These are definitely not for everyone, but I just thought that they were really fun and funky and I could definitely see myself wearing these in the fall and winter time. I saw this giant gingham overnight weekender bag. This thing is huge, you guys. And I'm so excited because I don't have something that's like this size. I have really small weekender bags and this guy is ginormous. I could fit like a week's worth of stuff in here, I swear. It does have one little small pocket on the inside with a zipper. And yeah, I just love this for probably going on a trip or just putting a bunch of stuff in whenever I'm traveling. I noticed it had these two side buckles, but I didn't see inside or in my package anywhere that it gave me the like big shoulder strap, which was strange. I might have to like go look in my box and see if I missed it. But yeah, just picked those guys up. And then I also got these little like bralette bandeau bras. There is a black one white one and beige one they do have the bra buckle in the back there and it is a bit stretchy which is nice these are one size fits all which i was kind of bummed about oh and they are padded um i wish that they were a little bit smaller because honestly they are a little bit big on me so i wish they actually had sizing on these guys but i felt like they worked well the only thing i will note is that the padding was kind of like weird on me and slightly lumpy so i think that they will make do but i'm not like writing home about them they'll work but they're not my favorite bandeau 
Moving on into the clothes, this is the first piece. It is a robe and I just loved the print. It's so summery and just beautiful with that light purple and pink floral print and then this like stripe down the front. This is so pretty, honestly. I'm thinking about wearing it as a kimono instead of wearing it as a house robe. I think it's just so elegant and gorgeous. Even just over this little dress right here, maybe pair it with like a belt and some cowboy boots. I just thought it was beautiful. Love the print, love the quality of it. Only thing I noticed is it has this weird hole in the armpit, which I'm not sure why. Let me know if one of you guys knows why it would have that. I wasn't too sure. So yeah, I do like this one. Definitely approved if you guys are looking for a new robe. All right, you guys, I found this little top. It is one of those like ruched front little black and white stripes. You just pull the strings and it's adjustable so that you can see how much like ruching you need. Um, I wouldn't pair it with these pants I have on now. And I also didn't love the way it kind of like drapes right at the very top of the neckline. I felt like it looks weird right at the top, but other than that, it was really cute. All right, guys, I saw these pants and I immediately thought of I am Gia. They are these black pants. They have kind of like a bell leg and then they have these straps up at the top and they come in very narrow on your hips. Also, if you guys have seen Euphoria, I'm pretty sure Maddie wears a pair of pants like this to like the carnival in one of the episodes. I loved it so much, but how I paired it with the shirt, I wasn't really sure about. I definitely will have to style it differently because in these clips, I just wasn't really in love. So yeah, I need some help styling them, but quality wise, really nice. Love the material, stretchy and cute. I was so excited to find like Doc Martin dupes and I am Gia dupes in this video. So yeah, that was really exciting for me and they're from Shein. All right, you guys, this next outfit was actually influenced. I was influenced by an influencer and she got this cute little suit jumpsuit thing. It looks really funky on its own, but it needs a bag. So I ended up grabbing this little Burt purse. You could do crossbody like this, which I thought looked okay. Um, but what I thought would look really cute is a fanny pack. I don't own a fanny pack, so I just wrapped the bag around my waist twice and paired it with this cute little black hat just to give it a more like spicy sporty kind of look and then i wanted to pair it with a pair of black vans i thought that that would look good so it looks kind of like sporty like i said on my own i don't think that i would have picked up this outfit but when i saw one of the other youtubers wear this i just thought it was super cute and one of my favorite things i got Okay, this is a summery little two-piece. It has this little crop top with a cute little square neckline. On the wrist, it does have the little elastic. And then the back is also a square neckline. On the side, it does have a zipper, so it's easy to get in and out of, or like easier. If it didn't have that zipper, I don't know if I could have made it in that thing. Um, and then a pair of like cropped leg, wide leg, flowy pants with the zipper on the side. These also have elastic on the waistband, so they're very comfortable and breathable. And then it does have a lining on the shorts area so that you can't see through it because the material is kind of thin and almost like a crinkly material so uh, it definitely needs that lining. I just think that this outfit is so sophisticated looking and summery and yeah, just very comfortable. I would wear this with a pair of like beige leggings, leggings, a pair of beige wedges and maybe like a little straw hat or I was thinking it would look really cute with this straw bag or like basket bag. I just thought that that totally gives off the vibe that I was looking for. Even a pair of espadrilles would be really cute shoes with this. Um, yeah, moving right along, we have this two-toned split t-shirt. It's just literally like if you cut two shirts down the middle and put them together. I've seen this style kind of a lot around and how I planned on wearing it is just tied up like this. So I did get it in a larger size so that it would be oversized. And yeah, just tied it up in the center there. Love the style. But I was also thinking when I had it on that I could style it another way by throwing it over a swimsuit as a swimsuit or, bas or bathing suit cover. And yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was super cute. I've seen this done with flannels too, and I kind of want to find a flannel version. 
Okay, I found this super cute little like tiered dress with the long sleeves. Um, I've also seen dresses like this. I think I got one actually from Urban Outfitters a few months ago and I love it. So I wanted to get a white one cause that one was in black. It just has kind of like a light crinkly, it almost feels like linen-y type material. So very light and breathable and very nice for summertime even though it does have the long sleeves. I thought it would look really cute with like this vintage looking purse and a straw hat is how I would wear this little dress. And yeah, I love the style. This one I definitely recommend. Quality is there on this one. So I was definitely into that one. I found this little sports bra. This sports bra is nice because it has that lower, like more material at the bottom. So it's more like a crop top. The back does come down as like a scoop neck in the back. And I would just wear this as a crop top. I think they call them like yoga. Uh, sports bras when they are almost like a shirt and like I said I love these I find them sometimes at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and so I just put this on I thought it would look cute with a sporty look if I just paired it with a little hat so I paired it with this little gray hat and I would just run errands in this super easy simple and I love that I didn't have to wear another bra underneath so yeah loved this one super good I'm gonna have to go back and see if they have it in more colors or a slightly different style okay I found this cute little um floral and polka dot tiered dress. It is a, what do you call that neckline? Like no straps. And it has all of these different tiers on the chest area. It does have that like little stretchy elastic so it stays up. But unfortunately this one definitely runs small. So I would size up in this one. I managed to get it on, um, but I also noticed that it's kind of for a smaller chested person. It didn't fit me quite right in the chest area, but I love it so much. So I was gonna maybe see if I can like tape my boobs and make it work. Um, here is a mini skirt. It is just a black chunky floral mini skirt. It kind of has a slick feel to the material. It's almost like a tablecloth, but like I still like it. It's not super junky. It's like still nice and cute. I would say this one also runs small though. So size up in this one. And this one is super short. Like I wish it was just a little bit longer because I feel like I can't comfortably like bend over in this. Um, so I wish it was a little bit longer. Wish I would have gotten one size up. And here is a cute little white dress. It has the strings on the side and the little ribbed material. It has a very high neckline, which I also like. And then this one has the strings on both sides so you can like adjust it on each side. And then when you ruche it up, it just kind of like gives it these wrinkles. So I feel like it's kind of flattering if you don't have like the best figure cause like those little wrinkles in the dress, I feel like kind of like hide anything that you don't want showing. <laughs> I would say that it's pretty sheer, so you kind of have to wear a pair of like beige underwear or booty shorts with this one, but I love the style. And I also like that it's very like, I did it half up, half down. So you can kind of like change the way the dress looks depending on which way you wear it. So I like that a lot. Okay, I found this cute little zebra print kind of like cami top. Unfortunately, I sized up in this one because I thought it would work, but it's just too loose for me, which is sad. A lot of you guys like on the swimsuits ask me to size up because I have a larger chest, but whenever I do that, it does fit in the chest, but it doesn't fit around my waist like I'm showing you guys here. So I can't normally size up in things to fit my chest. It's just like the way my body is built. So for those of you guys that always comment that that is why I usually stick to a small or extra small. But if this did fit me, it would be really cute. So I'll probably put this on my Poshmark Depop as well. But yeah, just love this little zebra print. I'm sad it didn't work. I also found this little um, like granny square crochet top with all this really pretty little fringe at the bottom. This is much more colorful than I'm used to. I don't normally wear this much color, so I'm not sure how I feel about it just because of that, but I have been really into crochet stuff and granny squares. So I paired it over a swimsuit right here, um, but you could just wear it with a pair of like shorts or jeans or something. I think I'm also gonna list this one on my Poshmark and Depop just because I think it's a little bit too bright for me and I don't know if I'll get wear out of it. Moving on to swimsuits, I got three this time. First off is this light purple. This one is high-waisted, which I prefer, and I feel like it's not too cheeky. And then the top just kind of has this like thick, 
I don't know, what do you call that at the top? It's not a V-neck, it's like a square neck almost. Um, I really like it. I also really like that in the back, it doesn't have a clasp, so there's no like adjusting the top. It's just that size all the way around. And yeah, I love this one. It's a little bit cheeky on the bottoms, but I feel comfortable and confident in this one. So I do really like this one. And you guys know the struggle with me in swimsuits is always real. <laughs> Next up is this like dark, like metallic-y gray. I love the material on this one and how it reflects like the colors in the material. The top is similar to that last one, but this one is slightly smaller on the top. So it doesn't fit me quite as well on the top unfortunately so this would be good for like small to medium chests i also noticed that like the padding on the inside the nipple covers it just like looked funky so i just removed them and it looks much better in my opinion i also really like that the bottoms on this one are um like much more like coverage i like that i wish that more of my bottoms were like that and then the last one is this super bright like fuchsia purple um, bikini. This one has super, super high rise on the hips and is like kind of like a small cut on the inside and obviously more cheeky. And then the top is the same as the last two. Um, I would say it's more like the like light purple one. It fits my chest a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I like this one a lot, except for you guys check out the bottoms on this one. It's almost like a Brazilian bikini. Like look how far in it goes on the hip area. I don't think I have any bikinis that is like that shaped right there. Um, I do like it, but I just feel like it's a little bit like less material and I like more coverage. So we'll see if I end up wearing this, but I love the color. All right, you guys, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys ended up enjoying some of the stuff. Let me know down below in the comments your favorite piece that I picked out today. I feel like a lot of the things are very similar. I had a lot of like white, black, and then flower print. I feel like I'm always like in a certain mood and then I order all of the things in that mood that I'm in when I do an order. And so a lot of the stuff ends up being very similar. But yeah, I will link all of this stuff down below in the description box and I will also have my coupon code for Shein down below. All right, you guys, see you guys later, bye. Bye. My mom is texting me, I gotta go. <laughs>